Hey guys, hope you're all doing very well. It's September 2022. <laughs> Who knew? Oh my god. It, uh, I think my last video upload was Disney, which was December last year. And I'm actually going to Disney again in October. It's going to be my only trip abroad, I think, this year. I'm hoping to get something else in, but we'll see. Anyway, I digress. Um, a three-year-old has now started nursery, which means I'm able to finally get back to things that I was doing pre-COVID and pre-baby. Um, I apologise if I keep looking to the side there. I'm actually filming on my iPhone today, so um, I keep get di getting distracted by myself on the screen. Um, anyway, so 2020, I set up a print store on Etsy to sell my travel prints initially. Um, the store has been really, it's been really good for me. It's another income earner um, and it kind of looks after itself, which has been amazing alongside having a child. Um, so... And alongside COVID as well, I guess. Um, so yes, I have had questions about what that process looks like. So today I'm going to kind of run through the basics of how to get your digital image um, to a customer if you set up an Etsy store. I'm not going to look at Etsy fully in this video. I'm going to make a separate one because it's quite a long one, I think. Um, but I'm going to go through the workflow and what that looks like. So Etsy, you set up your store and obviously you're going to work on your marketing, etc. on there, on that platform. Um, and once you've got an order, if like me, your images have been sat on a hard drive for years, 10 plus years if you're anything like me, um, you'll be like, oh, what do I do? So um, this wasn't overnight for me. I had to do a lot of testing really. So one of the first things you're going to do is call your images down. So any images that you might have and you think, oh, I'd love to see that on my wall. Um, your potential customer would love to see it on their wall too. So what you want to do is go through your favorite images and think, okay, what, what works? What do I want my customer to buy? Am I happy with this print? And so forth. Once you've got like a selection of images, um, it could be 10, it could be 20, whatever. Um, you want to obviously convert them into physical prints. So what you'll have to do is research the printers. There's two ways of doing this. You can either invest in like a printer and do it yourself at home. Um, it's not the option that I went through. Don't have the space for it. I do not care to have another thing in the house. Excuse the dog. Um, the second option is to research a professional printer. You can either do this locally. You might have a local business that works with independents to um, get prints physically printed. Um, so you can check over the quality, you're happy with it. You can look online for companies. So um, I went down that route and I was um, selling Gisli prints at first, which this one's one of my favourite ones, my Venice Italy print, which I really love still. Um, and this is one from New York, just to show you the colour and the black and white sort of part of it too, which is there. And I offer these in different sizes too. Um, so get some test prints done. So order like one of each or whatever. Um, and then a lot of companies do like, or what they're called, yeah, like test prints as opposed to like discounted. Um, so make sure that you're happy with them before you, of course, start selling the prints. Sometimes the photos look great on the computer, but they're not in print and vice versa, don't they? So yeah, have a think about that and see what you want to sell to your potential customers. Um, once you've researched and found a printer online, get the test prints, make sure you're happy with them. And then you've got your supplier sorted for your prints. Um, you can go down the route of drop shipping as well. Um, this is basically where a third party company will fulfill your order. Etsy does work with Printful. I've played around with it, not something I'm 100% on right now. Um, I prefer to kind of check over the quality of the prints before I send them out. Um, so you can look into that element of it. Um, and they basically look after everything. So the order gets placed on Etsy and they just fulfill it all for you. Um, so that's another method that you can research. So either way, once you've got your print sorted, um, you're going to obviously package them and send them to your customer with the details you've got on Etsy. So packaging prints. I had a bit of a disaster once. What's happened was the print arrived all wet and ripped. I was like, oh, okay. So <laughs> since then, I obviously wrap it in cellophane. You can get packets or like pockets for these wallets for prints, depending on what size you're selling. Um, so I just get a roll of it because it's just easier for me. 
um because i do like various sizes and things um and i wrap it up in the cellophane i've got my own business branded stickers um and you can do you can either look at a third party company so there's a bird outside third party company to do the branded stickers and packaging for you or you can go on etsy there's a lot of designers on there that do the branded stickers and business cards etc too i use etsy for support more independent businesses by staying on a platform um so you'll wrap your prints up with the cellophane or the wallet put your own sticker on it and then you've got two options usually with how to then package the print so for the smaller prints I go for hardbacked envelope, which I don't have right now, actually. I've run out, I need to get some more. Um, and then for the bigger prints, tubes. They normally have the caps on there, of course, but I've run out of caps. Um, and then again, you can just pop the your own branded stickers or label, whatever, on there, which is always super nice to make it personalized to your business or your name, etc. Once you've packaged it, you will then just send it to the customer uh, for your shipping um, your shipping provider. So in the UK, it might be Royal Mail, might be a few other companies, I don't know, um, etc. So, and that is literally, it is really simple to do. That is like a literal, literally just a simple breakdown of the process. I remember when I first started with the prints, um, actually for years, I put it off. So I was so overwhelmed because I was like, what is the workflow um, for this? But then it comes second nature to you. Um, the great thing about supply and on demand as well is that it will give you a chance to figure out which prints will be not best sellers, but like sell more of. Um, I found with Etsy specifically, because that's the only platform that I sell right now on, um, is that with the algorithm and things that some do better than others but not only that Etsy have their own sort of clientele or customers and they tend to be looking for a certain type of print so yeah it's it is trial and error but it's well worth the investment the store itself looks after itself um like I do very minimal work on my Etsy store and I do get orders another thing that I've started doing is I've added digital products to my store which I'm really excited for and I've seen a lot of success with that, which is amazing. I will share more on that in due time because I've not been doing it for that long, really. So don't want to share something that may not work. But I am going to do a separate video for that, um, as well as looking at Etsy store, how to set it up, a breakdown of things, etc. But I thought this one, I'll keep it really simple and the workflow of how to sell photography prints. If you guys have got any questions at all, um, do let me know down below in the comment section and uh, don't forget to subscribe and if you have any friends or family or colleagues that are thinking of setting up a photography print store on Etsy and you think they'll benefit from this video then share it to them the more the better. I will be back soon with another video until then bye for now.